Hello, everyone, and welcome to the weekly energy update for the week of July 30th, 2023. I'm Renee Spears, a spirit guide channeler and spiritual mentor, and I'm coming to you from beautiful Bozeman, Montana. (laughs) Every Sunday, I share the energy for the week ahead, and I also infuse the show with some positive vibes, so you get a little positive energy boost just for listening. And welcome to the last month of summer. Summer and this year are just flying by. So let's talk about what we can expect this month. August starts and ends with a supermoon. We get two full moons this month. On Tuesday the 1st, we have the full moon in Aquarius. And then on August 30th, we have a full moon, a super blue moon in Pisces. So having two full moons in the same calendar month means that August will be a time for releasing, for clearing and letting go. All that no longer resonates with us will be released. And by the end of the month, there'll be some empty spaces in our lives. We also start the month with Venus, Saturn, Neptune, Pluto, and Chiron retrograde. And by the time we wrap up August, Mercury and Uranus will also be retrograde. And in addition to all these planets retrograde, we also have the 8-8 Lion's Gate and a Venus Cassimi this month. So needless to say, there is a lot of intense shifting energy this month. And all this retrograde energy could make us feel a little sluggish. We may feel like we're moving in circles or we need to redo things that we thought we'd already dealt with. And there won't be much we can do to make things move any faster either. So when we have a large amount of retrograde energy, it's in our best interest to just move slowly and deliberately. Don't be in a rush to finalize things this month. Instead, go with the pace of how the universe wants you to flow. If you keep hitting brick walls, you don't have to push through them. You actually can't push through them right now. Remember that the whole world is experiencing this retrograde energy. Everything and everyone is slowing down. So for those of us that are used to pushing through and getting shit done no matter what, this is going to feel very uncomfortable. And the key is to surrender. To surrender and enjoy the slower time. Things go much more smoothly when we give up control, when we allow them to happen instead of making them happen. We try to control things because of what we think will happen if we don't. So control is the result of being attached to a specific outcome, an outcome that we're sure is best for us as if we know what's best. So when we trust that we're okay, no matter what comes our way, we don't need to micromanage the universe. We can let go. And when we do that, we open ourselves to all sorts of wonderful possibilities that aren't there when we're attached to one right path. Surrender literally means to stop fighting. Stop fighting with yourself. Stop fighting the universe and the natural flow of things. Stop resisting and pushing against reality. Einstein said the most important decision we make is whether we believe we live in a friendly or hostile universe. It helps to believe in a friendly universe, one that is supporting you at every turn so that you don't have to worry yourself over the details. Sure, we can always do things the easy way or the hard way. We can muscle through or we can just let go and go with the flow of the universe and let the current carry us downstream. And you will enjoy this month so much more if you just surrender. So the first major cosmic event of the month is a full moon in Aquarius on Tuesday the 1st. This is a very, very healing full moon. And while the energies this month could be really intense, this full moon is gentle. And it's like it's holding our hand while it's revealing to us what no longer works in our life, what no longer is a fit for our highest good. So soak up this healing energy. We can also use the full moon in Aquarius to kind of course correct our lives and move toward a different future. This is also the month to celebrate our uniqueness and embrace our individuality. Aquarius helps us express ourselves and embrace our authentic selves. So have some fun playing around with trying on some new identities. 
Like if you always wear pants, maybe you wear a dress. If you're a meat eater, eat some vegan meals. Try on some different identities just for fun, just to see if maybe they resonate with you a little bit more. There are some major internal changes happening for us this month. And this full moon brings us the opportunity to feel better in our own skin. So August is a sixth universal month in numerology. And the energy of a sixth month is all about the good stuff in life. It's about harmony and love and balance. It's about focusing on our family and relationships. It helps us enjoy our homes. It's about physical, emotional, and mental well-being and really bringing more ease and harmony into our lives. And this sixth month helps us love our lives. August will be moving at a snail's pace, which, which you may find a relief or a pain in the ass, or maybe even both. Just remember to go slowly. Don't force things when they're not flowing. Take a break and then just try again later. Some plans just may not pan out or will require do-overs. So for some of us, this is a period of rest. For others, a temporary calm, like the calm before the storm. So don't worry about the fact that the phone is silent, your friends have disappeared, or your plans get canceled. Life is slow right now. Enjoy a slow August. Enjoy the good stuff in life. This month reminds me of summer as a kid when life was easy and we rode our bikes and we went swimming and we played with our friends. It was just like a slow month where we could be and just enjoy life. And that's what this August can feel like if you let it. So just surrender and let this month be one of the best ones of your life. And that's it for the week. These are the last two days of my 40% off summer sale. So if you want to take advantage of the sale but don't want to schedule an appointment right now, I suggest getting a gift certificate for yourself that you can use later. You can also get a 60-minute gift certificate and then use it for two 30-minute appointments too. Also, tomorrow I'll be releasing the Aquarius Full Moon Spiritual Practice, which will have more in-depth full moon astrology and numerology. It'll have a tarot reading, some channeled messages from my spirit guides, a meditation, and a workbook, all for only $8.88. And of course, my summer money reset is also still available for $33. This is the perfect month to reset your money vibe and own a new abundant identity. So I'll put a link to all this shizzle in the show notes. So enjoy this lovely healing full moon. I am off for a hike today. And as always, thank you for listening, liking, subscribing, and passing this podcast on to a friend you think may find value in it. Have a good week, and I will talk to you again next week.